Have you ever wondered what a competition tune glider is? I'll show you. The most important thing when it comes to tuning a glider is to get the wings in a good condition. So first look at the leading edge and make sure that it's perfectly fine all the way. There's not supposed to be any paint chips or any other damages to the leading edge. So moving on to the ailerons and on a Cirrus the mylars, the top mylars here aren't that important. What is important though is what's underneath here which is the air seal. That one is important for, uh, for the Cirrus. Okay and moving on to the back. I've already taken off this stabilizer because I'm de-rigging today but I'm gonna have a look back here. The same thing here on the rudder you see air seal the milers are yeah mostly because it looks nice and we can move on a little bit more and now I have disconnected the, the brakes but when you have the brakes in a locked position it's not supposed to stick up it's supposed to be flush with the surface And of course, you need to have some special things on your glider to make your the other competition pilots a little bit nervous, like the stuff I have here. As you know, you cannot win a competition with a Cirrus without these. And moving on to the inside of the glider, let's have a look. Instrument panel. And uh, what's important here is that both of the varimeters are correctly tuned and working the way they're supposed to work. There's nothing more annoying than having a varimeter that is all over the place and unreliable. The same thing goes with the rest of the instrument. They are supposed to be working, not just working, but working well. And as you can see, there's not... Uh, unused stuff or open holes or anything on the panel it's very clean and everything works fine and the same goes with the radio um, it's also very important to have a good radio so that when you speak to your teammate the communication is very clear and loud and we're gonna have a look at the canopy itself What's also important is this forward arc here, this, uh, the gap here, it's like the most important part of the canopy, it needs to be small and it needs to be flush. If you don't have this one good, you will have a lot of noise in the cockpit and I've also done the the, um, the canopy gap all the way back here so it's nice and tight and this is one of actually one of the quietest glider I have flown well and also yeah the wheel brake that's kind of important to have the confidence to do outlandings on kind of shorter fields. Make sure that your wheel brake is actually working properly. And it's not all about the glider, it's also about all equipment surrounding the glider, that you have good chargers, good batteries, a trailer that is working. So when you're on the competition everything runs smoothly there are no like hiccups stuff breaking and so on and that's kind of about it that's how you competition tune a glider